Hello friends, how are you today? My name is Miss Brooke and this is Family Storytime with the La Crosse Public Library. I am so excited that you joined us this morning. We will wait a couple minutes to see if some more of our friends join in. Um, to get started, I will let you know that today we are going to use scarves. So go ahead and start to try to find a scarf around your house. So it can be a scarf if you want, it can be a washcloth, it can be a shirt, it can be really anything that kind of waves in the air when you swing it like this. So go look and find one of those for us today. And just a reminder um, that the library does have craft bags still left over um, this week. So this week we are making um, a mask or caterpillars. So you can always drop by the library during open hours to grab one of those. Um, and then next week on Monday, we will switch and have a new craft for you. Uh, another reminder that next Friday, we will not have story time um, because of the July 4th holiday. The library will be closed that week, weekend um, from on Friday and Saturday. And then finally, my last reminder for you is that um, starting July 6th, um, we will have Music Mondays, and that is with our friend, Mr. Evan. He's a delightful music teacher, um, and we'll do it all through Zoom. Um, and so it is for three Mondays in a row, July 6th, 13th, and 20th. And you can um, sign up online at lacrosselibrary.org. Um, you can register for the event and then you get the Zoom link sent to you. So I hope you'll join us for that because I did a couple of classes with Mr. Evan over um, the isolation uh, with my little ones and it was a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and get started today. So first we are going to do our hello song and remember to say hello in the comments too. So we'll start by saying hello to Ella and Kira and baby Dane, hello. But our song will be hello friends. So for this one we say hello and then we say friends with our fingers and we make them hug. Ready? And then we say it's time to say hello. Ready? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Good job. Let's do that one one more time. Ready? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends. It's time to say hello. Good job. Wonderful job, you guys. And we clap after every song because you guys are doing a great job on singing. Okay, let's go and do our next song. And we are going to do open, shut them. So can you open your hands really, really, really wide? Good job. And then we will shut them tight. And for this one, we also are going to clap. So can you clap? Good job. And then you're going to pat your lap. Good job. And then we're going to creep them and crawl them. You're going to go up to your chin. And then you're going to open wide your mouth. But don't let your fingers go in. Okay. We ready? We say, open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Good job. And then we're going to creep them, crawl them, remember? Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth. Open big. But do not let them in. Hide your hands. Good job. Let's try that one again, okay? Ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth. But do not let them in. Good job. Very good, friends. Very good. Okay, and it looks we all like we also have indie 
Blue and Ivy Moon. Hello, friends. And Jovi and Addie. Hello. So good to see you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and do our very first book. This is one of Ms. Brooks' favorite books. It is called Jabari Jumps, and it's by Gaia Cornwall. Have you went swimming yet for the summer? Some of our pools are closed, but that's okay. My little one, he's almost four, and he likes to pretend to swim in the bathtub. It's very, very messy, but he loves it. So Jabari jumps. So here on our title page, we have our friend Jabari, and he is getting ready to go swimming. So he takes off his clothes, puts on his swimmy trunks. He left his socks on, so he's got to take those off. He gets dressed. Get ready, Jabari jumps. I'm jumping off the diving board today, Jabari told his dad. Really, said his dad. The diving board was high and maybe a little scary, but Jabari had finished his swimming lessons and passed his swim test, and now he was ready to jump. I'm a great jumper, said Jabari, so I'm not scared at all. Jabari watched the other kids climb the long ladder. They walked all the way out to the end of the board as big as tiny bugs. And then they stood on the edge. They spread their arms and bent their knees and sprang up, up, up. And then they dove down, 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 splash. Looks easy, Jabari said. But when his dad squeezed his hand, Jabari squeezed back. Jabari stood at the bottom of the ladder and he looked up. Can you look up? Um, you can go before me if you want, he told the kid behind him. I need to think about what kind of special jump I'm going to do. So Jabari thought and thought. Jabari started to climb up and up. This ladder is very tall, he thought. Are you okay? called his dad. I'm just a little tired, said Jabari. Mm, maybe you should climb down and take a tiny rest, said his dad. A tiny rest sounded like a good idea. When he got to the bottom, Jabari remembered something. I forgot to do my stretches, he said to his dad. Stretching is very important, said his dad. Can we all stretch? Can you stretch your arms way up high? Oh, stretching feels so good. You know, I think tomorrow might be a better day for jumping, said Jabari. They looked up at the diving board together. It's okay to feel a little scared, said his dad. Sometimes if I feel a little scared, I take a deep breath and tell myself, I am ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops feeling scary and feels a little bit like a surprise. Jabari loved surprises. So Jabari took a deep breath and felt it fill his body from the ends of his hair right down to the tips of his toes. Can we try that? Can we take a big deep breath in? Ooh, do you feel it in your hair? Ooh, that's a really big breath. Jabari looked up and he began to climb up and up and up and up until he got to the top. Jabari stood up straight and he walked all the way to the end of the board. His toes curled around the rough edge. Look how high he is. Everyone else looks like tiny bugs. Jabari looked out as far as he could see. He felt like he was ready. I love surprises, he whispered. He took a deep breath and spread his arms and bent his knees. And then he sprang up, up off the board, flying. And Jabari hit the water with a splash. Down, down, 
down he went and then back up. Whoosh. Jabari, you did it, said his dad. I did it, said Jabari. I'm a great jumper. And you know what? What, said his dad. Surprise double backflip is next. The end. Isn't that such a fun book? Good job. Have any of you ever jumped off a diving board? Sounds a little scary. But I really liked how he talked about taking a deep breath and getting brave. Wasn't that so nice? Okay. So it looks like I'm also going to say hello to my friend Owen. Hi, Owen. And Andrew. Hi. I'm so glad you guys are here. So next we are going to do a song about water. Can you think about any songs that might have water in it? Hmm. What about Row, Row, Row Your Boat? I love that song. So Miss Brooks sings it a little silly sometimes. So first we're going to row our boat like this. Can you act like you're rowing a boat? Good job. And then we're going to rock our boat. And when we're rocking our boat, we might accidentally scream because we see an alligator. Okay, let's try. Ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Good job, let's rock. Rock, rock, rock your boat gently down the stream. If you see an alligator, don't forget to ah, scream. Good job. Okay, let's try that one one more time. And you can scream really loud if you want. If you don't have uh, maybe baby brother or baby sister who's sleeping, if they're sleeping, maybe do a quiet whisper scream. Okay, ready? So let's row first. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Good job, let's rock. Rock, rock, rock your boat gently down the stream. If if you see an alligator, don't forget to ah, scream. Good job. Very good, you guys. Okay, let's do our next song. And this one's going to be about some animals too. And it's called Old MacDonald. Do you know this song? But today I have some stuffed animal friends that are going to help me sing it. Ready? So we say, Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a, a cow. E-I-E-I-O. And what does our cow say? Moo. Good job. Ready? With the moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a pig. Good job. What's our pig say? Good job. E-I-E-I-O. With a here and a there. Here, there, everywhere. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a duck. Quack, quack. Good job. E-I-E-I-O. With a quack, quack here and a quack, quack there. Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack, quack. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a... Rooster. What does the rooster say? cock a doodle do good job. E-I-E-I-O with a cock a doodle do and a cock a doodle do. Here a cock a doodle do, here there a cock a doodle do, everywhere a cock a doodle do. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And I forgot to tell you, but Old MacDonald kind of has a really silly animal too. Are you ready? Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had an alligator, oh no, E-I-E-I-O, with a chomp chomp here and a chomp chomp there, 
Here a chomp, there a chomp, everywhere a chomp, chomp. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Good job. Very good, friends. What was your favorite animal? I think mine was the maybe the baby duck, the duckling. I really liked that one. But I always love a good alligator, too. Okay, so next, let's go ahead and do our next story. This is also about an animal, but he was not on our farm. But it is called Glad, Glad Bear. And this is written by Kimberly Gee. Tilt you just a little bit. Bear is glad. He has new leggings and new slippers and a new tutu. Does he look very happy? Today is dance day and that makes him very very glad. What a very happy bear. So he goes out the door and he says, Wee! But then, Bear is not so sure. He feels a little shy. Have you ever felt shy before? Yeah, me too. And a little afraid. And a little different. But when the music starts, Bear begins to feel light. And bubbly and twirly. Then Bear is dancing. When the music stops, Bear takes off his slippers and his tutu. And the teacher says, Thank you for coming. And Bear is very glad he did. See in. Good job, friends. Very good. Wasn't that such a fun story? Have you ever been to a dance class? Miss Brooke has never been to a dance class. She's not a very good dancer, but I still like to dance a lot. I'm just sometimes not very good at it, and that's okay. But now we are going to use our scarf for some songs. So go ahead and get your scarf if you have one. If not, you can use a shirt or a washcloth or anything that you can kind of just move through the air. You can use a tissue if you want. Don't use a used one though, because that's yucky. Use a fresh Kleenex. You could even use toilet paper, honestly. Whatever you have, it doesn't matter, okay? So first we're gonna sing a song called One Bright Scarf. So for this one, I'm gonna tell you how to wave your scarf. And at the very end, we're going to hide it. Ready? One bright scarf waiting for the wind to blow. Wave it high and wave it low. Wave it fast. And wave it slow. Where did it go? Hide it. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys all hit it so good. I don't even see them. Huh, good job. Okay, let's try one more time. Ready? One bright scarf waiting for the wind to blow. Wave it high and wave it low. Wave it fast. Good job. And wave it slow. Where did it go? Oh my gosh, I don't see them anywhere. Should we bring them back? Okay, ready? Let's throw them in the air on three. One, two, three. Good job, friends. Wonderful. 
Okay, let's do our next song. And we're gonna throw our scarf in the air again. This song is called Popcorn Kernel. So for this one, we are going to wave our scarf in the air when I say popcorn kernel, and then we're gonna put them in the pot. So for that, we kind of mush it up together. And then we shake it and shake it and shake it and shake it and shake it until it pops. And that's when we throw it in the air, super high. If you want an extra challenge, try to catch it as it starts to fall back down. Okay, ready? Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake em, shake em, shake em, shake em, shake em, shake em till they pop, till they pop. Good job. You see, Miss Brooke missed it on the first time too. She's not very good at catching either. <laughs> Let's try that one one more time. Ready? Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake em, shake em, shake em, shake em, shake em, shake em till they pop, till they pop. Good job. Very good, friends. You all are doing wonderful today with singing. I'm very impressed. Beautiful voices. Let's go ahead and do our last book, and it is called I Am Actually a Penguin. Does she look like a penguin? Hmm. We'll have to read and find out. This book is by Sean Taylor. Hello! This is what I look like as a little girl. But sometimes I'm a pretty princess and an incredible pirate or a terrible witch. And last week, sorry, <laughs> I got a new outfit. Now I'm a penguin. Good job, Ben. I liked being a penguin so much that I wore my outfit to the supermarket. When mom asked, do you want spaghetti or lasagna? I said, penguins don't eat spaghetti or lasagna. Mom said, you're not actually a penguin, but she was wrong. I was actually a penguin all the way back home. I was actually a penguin the next day and the next. So look, it looks like she went to the zoo and got to see her penguin friends. My brother had to get used to sharing the sofa with a penguin. Why have you put toilet paper everywhere, he asked. It's snow, I told him. I am actually a penguin, and this is how penguins chill out. He said, penguins are silly. I said, penguins are cool. And he didn't argue with that. Should you do this with toilet paper all over your house? Mm -mm. Please don't do that. <laughs> but, he did like it when I was a penguin at our aunt's wedding. See all these silly pictures of her being a penguin at their wedding. She's dancing. Most people didn't seem to mind, but I did get mistaken for a groomsman. Does it look like a tuxedo kind of, the penguin costume? So silly. My mom kept saying I was gonna break something when I slid down the stairs. And she wasn't happy when I answered the telephone and didn't actually say anything because penguins can't talk. My dad tried telling me to wear pajamas, but he got used to giving his goodnight kiss to a penguin. I did get my brother to throw me fish sticks. I thought I could catch them in my beak, but it was tricky. Uh -oh. Maybe getting a little messy. Dad said, listen, everyone loves your costume, but you're not actually a penguin. I said, I am actually a penguin. Where is she? In the refrigerator. <laughs> then Monday morning came. That meant I had to go to school. Mom told me, you'll have to take off your costume now. My brother said, you can't go to school dressed like that. 
Dad said, your penguin suit needs to be washed. I never wanted to stop being a penguin, but I thought they might be right. So I took off the penguin outfit. Do you see how dirty it is? It's very messy. And I decided I am actually an alligator. We had a theme of alligators today and I did not realize. And here's our friend again, being silly as an alligator. Good job, wonderful job, friend. Oh, and it looks like Avery is here. Hello, Avery. Oh, I'm so excited to see you. Okay, let's go ahead and do one last song. Let's do Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. So for this one, and if you have a song the song with Miss Abby or maybe Miss Tara, I sing it a little bit differently and that's okay. So the way I do it is I chant it. So we just clap during mine and then we count down from five. And as we count, we crouch down really low and then we blast off. Okay, so we'll do this one two times. Ready? Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll be there very soon in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Good job. Let's do that one again. And remember, if you're big, you can jump for blast off. Or if you have your little one in your lap, you can lift them up. Or you can just lift up their arms, whatever is comfortable for you. Ready? Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll be there very soon in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Good job! What great jumpers you guys are! Oh my goodness, you almost touched the ceiling. That was very impressive. Okay. It looks like we are all out of time for story time today, but you all were so wonderful. Thank you so much. We will go ahead and do our closing song, which is Goodbye Friends. So for this one, we say goodbye, and then we say friends again. So remember, friends hug with their fingers. And then we say it's time to say goodbye. Ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Good job, one more time. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Wonderful. Great job, everyone. Just a reminder, a final reminder, we will not have story time next Friday because of the holiday, um, but then we will return to our regular schedule and that you should also sign up for the music class on Mondays with Mr. Evan. And you can find that on lacrosselibrary.org on the website and just register. I miss you and love you all so, so much. Bye, friends.